Shalom, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS to rule well and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is uh, the brother Kyle coming with a short lesson. I uh, <clears throat> just want to go over this quick, quick word, man. Um, the word is opposition, okay? Let me pull it up. Pull this word up right quick. Opposition. Opposition and actions or opinions that show that you disagree with or disapprove of something or something. Action that is done to stop or defeat someone or somebody. A person or a group that you are trying to defeat or succeed against a person or a group that you are com competing with. Okay. And it goes down more definitions. Opposition. Okay. Defense resistance. So that's a key word resistance, which comes from the word op oppose. Okay. That come from the word oppose. Opposed to disagree with, disapprove of something or someone, to compete against someone, to be an opponent of someone, to try to stop or defeat. Okay, the reason why that I, I, I have this word on the screen is this word is heavy uh, in adherence to the uh, uh, ministry that we're doing for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Are we going to meet opposition in this ministry? You bet we are. You meet opposition constantly every day. One opposition, when you read uh, Timothy 4, uh, in season, out of season, that's an opposition. The weather, uh, uh, mainly the opposition we have now, you, you have family. But the main opposition that disagrees or disapproves of what we're doing or, or who are uh, to be our opponent or disagreeing with opposition trying to come against us is Esau, okay? They they hate that we're, that we're pushing this ministry forward and this good news and that the elect are waking up. So are we going to be met with opposition? Yes, man, because when Esau feel it slipping, He's going to pull out all, all stops, right? And we are met by the opposition of our own people, Israel. Because you have, you have the, the, uh, the wolves, the wolves of, uh, the wolves of Israel, meaning the uh, other pastors, right? These officials, Jake officials, they hate what we're doing too, because we're bringing light on, on the, uh, uh, on the, uh, we're bringing light to their to their evil misconduct and it's bringing them to shame because we're pushing 100 percent truth you know so yet yeah, these these so-called christian pastors they are against us too so we're gonna we're gonna be met with opposition in this truth brothers okay this is a you know heavy word so i want to just get some scripture to show you that show you about the opposition basically okay now um, if you go to Amos 8 and 11, it says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread or thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. So the Lord, this is the Lord's doing, but he has Esau, which is his whooping stick when you read in Psalm 17. So Esau, eventually that opposition of him stopping the word from going out on the Thummim and the Urim 
it's going to happen. If you look now, he's making it harder for us to uh, upload videos on YouTube right now. You have to uh, click on a Child Protective Privacy Act link and, and tell them that it's not suitable or if it's suitable for kids. Then the upload comes up private and you have to like go back out and hit it again because I've been doing it and I kind of like figured out figured it out a little bit. I just have to open more tabs when I do it, but it, it, it sends you through. It's a little longer process. See, in, 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 um, Esau basically, basically going to be going back and looking at old videos, taking old videos down. Cause they're going to try to get all this information off the net, man. Right. Cause like, like, um, what did Gamaliel say? Let's read what Gamaliel say. When, when the disciples, met opposition from the uh, Romans. Okay, I'll just read through it. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey the most high rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom we slew and hanged on a tree. Him have the most high exalted with his right hand with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and the forgiveness of sins. So repentance is only for Israel and the forgiveness of sins, not you other nations. This is, this is, this is plain. Don't get no plainer than that. And we are his witness of these things. And, and so is also the Holy spirit whom Yahweh have given to them that obey him. So those who obey Yahweh shy, the Holy Spirit will be given unto you. When they heard that they were out, they were cut to the heart, Salaki, and took counsel to slay them. So now when they heard it, they were cut to heart and they took counsel to slay the apostles. This is opposition. Okay. They were opponent. They disagreed with what they were saying. And they basically wanted to shut them up. They are being met by opposition right here. They're opposing the righteousness of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And these were what? Uh, Pharisees, man. These were uh, uh, Israelites, man. So we're, we're going to be met by opposition by our own people. Then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, which was the doctor of the law. A doctor of the law had a in, in, had in reputation among all the people and command to put the apostles forth a little space. A little space. So he's basically giving them a little, uh, give them a little, a little while. Okay. Let him, a few words, right? And said unto them, ye men of Israel. So Gamaliel is talking Israel. So this opposition, are we going to, we're going to be met by opposition by our own people. Take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. Okay. So y'all better watch out, man. Y'all want y'all want to basically uh grab these men up and kill them. Better be careful. For before these days rose up that is boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about four hundred, joined themselves who was slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. Cause I think they were supposed to have been trying to kill Paul. Okay. And it says after this, this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of taxing and drew away much people after him, he also perished and all, even as many as obeyed him were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them, let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most high Yahweh, you cannot overthrow it. Least ye happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh. So if you fight against these men, you're going to be opposing Yahweh. You're going to be in opposition of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. 
And that's 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 in hey, that's gonna be death unto you. Okay. That word opposition, we're gonna face the opposition. Okay, uh let me show you. Revelation to uh, twelve and twelve. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, to the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Devil is Esau, so called white man, okay? He's Esau. He he is his progenitor from the from all the way back, the spirit of Cain, Esau. Okay. Okay. So he knows he has a short time. He's going to bring wrath. When his kingdom is falling, he's going to bring that wrath, man. Let me look up the word wrath. Wrath, passion, anger, heat, anger, for, for with boiling up, assumed, subsiding again, again. Okay. Uh, fierce indignation. So that's an opposition. Okay. That's part of opposition. They're going to be coming against us, man. Did your Hawa Shai go up? Did, did your Hawa Shai uh, suffer opposition? Always, man. All to the end of his ministry. Even when they hung him on the cross, what happened? They, they uh, 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 poked him in the side, man. The, the, the centurions, the Romans, he faced opposition from his own people all the way. They they wanted to kill him. So, you know, if he suffered, guess what? We're going to have to suffer the same. So we're going to be facing the opposition also. This is Matthew. Uh, 12. I started nine, I think. I started nine to read down to it. And when he had departed, thence he went into their synagogue. And behold, there was a man that had a hand withered. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful? Is it lawful? Is it lawful? Um. And these messages keep coming. And behold, there was a man which had a hand withered. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him? Because what had happened up earlier, the, the Yahweh and the disciples had went into a cornfield. They were hungry and they picked some corn, and the, and the Pharisees didn't like it because they were saying it was against the Sabbath, pursuant to a. Uh, Exodus 34 and 21 and Deuteronomy 23 and 25 that you weren't supposed to basically when you go into it, plow or reap on the on the on the Sabbath. Right. But they were. But when you read uh, Exodus, I think now Exodus 34 and 21 and basically tell you basically like uh, goes into uh, being being hungry. They were hungry. So they were they weren't really breaking the law, I guess. But the Pharisees thought that was they, they were breaking the law. OK. Uh, let me. Trying to go to it. I'm going to go to Exodus 34 and read it. To make sure I had it right. 21. Six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In earing time and in harvesting thou shalt rest. Earing time is plowing time. Earing time. Plowing, right? So the plow time, during the plowing time, you, you, don't, you don't work on the Shabbat day and the harvest time, which is the reaping time. But they were only there to what? They were only there when you read in the beginning of of uh, Matthew, they was just there to eat. So, okay. So the Pharisee was already on them. Like, who y'all think y'all are? Y'all breaking the law? Y'all just trying to disrespect the Mosaic uh, system, right? And behold, there was a man 
which had a hand withered. And this was after that, right? And and they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that thy might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall be there be among you that shall have one sheep? And if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, he will not lay hold on it and lift it up. So, hey, Yahweh Shai, hey, he hitting them with it now. He cutting them right now. You know, he cutting them to the heart because, you know, the Pharisees, they all about the law. A lot of times they probably, they was they had the bearing, the bearing on people about the law being overrights. But Yahweh Shai was like, hey, which one of y'all, you ain't going to get your sheep out, you know? It says, how much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore, it's lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. So he says it's lawful to do well. Because sometimes we even go out and preach on the Shabbat days when it, when it rolls around. You know, when it rolls around on the days that we go out and preach, we'll go out and preach. It's, 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 you know, it's lawful to do well. Then said he to the man, stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched forth, and it was restored whole like as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and held a council against him, how they would, might destroy him. See, they held a council against him. Yeah, they went out. So they, they was basically, you go into the word destroy, to put away, to uh, entirely abolish, to put an end to it. Same thing when you read the, op the word opposition and oppose, man. Somebody's going to come against you or come against someone. Okay. These words are uh, 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 anonyms, uh, uh, homonyms from each other. Um, against, let's go against, down from, throughout, according to, against, um, Pertaining to touching, meaning they might uh, put lay hands on them, you know, seize them, take them, take them in. It says, then the Pharisees, verse 14, put away and held a council against him on how they might destroy him. That's right. It says. But when Yahweh knew it, he withdrew himself from from thence. And the great multitude followed him. And he healed them all. So once he knew he got out of there, you know, he didn't stick around. Okay. That's the same way. Sometimes if we come up against opposition, maybe if we preaching on a corner and you have the cops coming back and forth, somebody complaining and the cops come up, man, and try to make us get out the spot. The scripture say in Matthew, a, uh, uh, fifth chapter, agree with your adversary quickly. And you might move to another place, man. That's being met by opposition also, because truly the police don't want you bringing that truth out either. OK, so, hey, Yahweh Shah just left. He didn't stand and try to fight with him. OK. Because we're not we're not using uh, we're not using uh, corner weapons in this thing, man. When we met with opposition. We use what the scriptures. To to our, do our battles, man. You know, we use scripture, okay? And it says, But when Yahweh knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitudes followed him, and healed the, he healed them all, and charged them that they should not make him known. Don't say nothing about it. Okay? Don't say nothing about it. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Elias, the prophet saying, behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put thy spirit upon him and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles. Man, that's what he did. That's what Yahweh shot. That's, that's part of his ministry. It's part of his mission. Right. And it says, if you believe in him, the Lord will put the spirit on you. Yahweh will put the spirit on you if you believe in him. Okay. And, that, and that's where we at with it. We believe solely in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And the Lord is putting the spirit on the men now to preach this word the same. 
to, to carry forth this ministry until Yahweh Shah comes back to set to set the kingdom up. And we are going to be met by opposition. Man. Okay. We will be met by opposition. I'm going to read that word again and I'm going to close. Okay. Oppose. Opposition. This is the base word for oppose. To disagree or disapprove something or someone to compete against, to be an opponent of someone, to try to stop or defeat. And that's what Esau is doing. They're trying to defeat stop and defeat this this ministry from being pushed man okay so i just wanted to share that uh i didn't expect for it to be this long but hey it's all the spirit power you have by shimmy i you know we don't control anything he controls everything so with that i hope it was edifying all praise and honor and glory be to the heavenly father and son yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem kakodash double honors to the apostles and the elders of gms who rule well Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Hey, GMS, stop and listen. GMS Arkansas, to the next time before I go, one of them definitions says military force opposed to another. That's when that time of martial law is going to come, the time of Jacob's trouble. So we're going to be met with opposition, brother. So stay strong. Keep your faith. Shalom.